Hello everybody, it's Aaron back from ScreenStars and I'm here once again to do another review for Geek Legion of Doom. Today I'm here to review the 2020 real life drama Fukushima 50, a film that is directed by, and I hope I pronounced this right, Setsuro Wakamatsu and it stars Kochi Sato and Ken Watanabe who you will obviously recognize from some of the western versions of Godzilla and things like that. Now this film tells a real life story of um, the workers at the Fukushima facility in Japan which was like a nuclear power plant and the area is devastated due to a tsunami that takes place and this takes place in 2011 uh, that basically shuts down the power in this nuclear facility which essentially could lead to absolute nuclear devastation because they need to keep these uh, keep everything cool so that things don't um, get worse and, and there's explosions and things like that so this tells the story of the workers at this plant who decide to put their own lives at risk to stay behind in order to try and keep the plant going and to keep everything cool um, so that there are um, no nuclear leaks that could, could cause devastation, um, untold devastation throughout the land. Now that's essentially the story that we get here. Now this kind of story is probably quite popular at the minute due to the Chernobyl TV series. Now I haven't seen that series but I've heard great things about it and I do want to check that out at some point. So this is a relevant story at the minute and it's obviously it's another true story. It actually took place in 2011. This tsunami took place um, and while this film and you obviously you need to be aware that obviously this is a Japanese film with Japanese language spoken with English subtitles. Um, there is a little bit of English spoken in it because yeah, there are a, a few minor scenes of like the American perspective on it so they have American actors speaking in those scenes. But for the most part this film focuses very heavily on the human drama of this crisis on um, problem solving, how they're going to um, deal with this situation, how they're going to make the repairs that they need um, and thinking on the feet um, to stop this potential catastrophe taking place. And this film does do a really good job of laying it on the line in a sense of they are very very close to um, devastation here in this and it's due to the ingenious um, invention of the workers uh, to come up with these solutions I mean they come up with all sorts of solutions of trying to keep things keep keep um, uh, the plant cool and all this kind of stuff um, they, they need to get power obviously back and there's because there's no power so you know everyone has to give up the car batteries and things like that uh, to try and get power back up and running um, these repair crews are literally going out and are putting their lives on the line trying to keep things running keep things going um, superiors who aren't there including the Prime Minister absolutely going ballistic I mean that that's one thing that's very clear on this I mean it's always difficult sometimes when you watch a foreign language film because um, because they're acting uh, it, it, there's cultural differences so there's a lot of scenes in this where you see very angry people shouting at people but that's just the Japanese way do you know what I mean as someone in a figure of authority the way they communicate to people underneath them sort of thing is it's um, it's very to the point I think it's fair to say and um, it almost gets a little bit comical at times you know these little angry people screaming and shouting at others um, it, it actually feels very disrespectful but everybody's very honourable about it and things like that and they're bowing and they're all very sorry and you can see this real fear in the faces that's all portrayed really really well uh, in the actors and their performances here um, and they portray the situation particularly well and that translates across regardless of the language spoken you do get this sense of urgency and this sense of real fear and dread of the, this potentially going awry um, and there was 
for me a bit of an anticlimactic I mean not that I mean obviously this is the true story now I, I, even though I am aware of this being in the news at the time um, I'm not you know deeply involved and could remember all the details but for me the film felt a little bit anticlimactic because there was all this um, fear and all this urgency and all this rushing about and trying to repair this and trying to get this working and all this communication about how things are going really really terribly and then it all kind of resolves itself with far less drama than you might expect that's certainly the impression I got it was like everything is terrible and then a couple five minutes later it's like no it's not um, and it almost felt like it resolved itself to some degree but it, it didn't I mean much of how it was resolved was due to the heroics of the people involved and that is the strongest message that I took away from this film is they wanted to I think um, show the heroics of all these people involved and their personal sacrifices to to try and keep everyone safe so depending on what your your thoughts are on the type of films these disaster type of films i suppose you could call it a true life disaster film and uh, and if you're happy to tolerate like a foreign language film there is a good film here there's some great effects there's some very very effective explosions i'm not gonna lie there was more than once i jumped out of my seat because the explosions were really very very loud uh, and very effective and um, nicely filmed and the whole thing has got this real nice gloss and sheen to it and it looks nice and it's very professionally made so there is a good quality film here if you can uh, get over some of the hurdles that i've mentioned so i'm going to give this one a six out of ten definitely worth checking out if this is your sort of thing so thanks for watching everybody don't forget to check back on the geek legion of doom channel very very soon for more content